how do we deal with other people's opinions of us if those opinions actually form our identity this is a question that I have recently been asked hi my name is Marcel I'm an awareness coach and I deal specifically with subconscious behavioral patterns I help you to find the origins to check how these patterns influence your whole life and then I help you to change them it's the fact that our immediate environment and especially the people that we care about the most and the people that care about us the most inevitably end up forming how we respond to the world right not only how we see ourselves but also ultimately how we present ourselves to the world the reason for this is we get so used to reacting towards what the people closest to us picture us to be that that actually forms a template you know for who we are it's action and response don't forget that ultimately we are action and reaction you know we can learn to go action create a filter and then respond but ultimately action and reaction that's it so the question I was asked is how does one learn to stay detached within a family dynamic to that personal information that keeps triggering you that you just feel you need to kill something or someone how do you manage to stay detached so still taking the information but not to react to it so I suppose really just thinking about it now the easiest way that, um, that one can find of describing this is how do you stay present in a situation like that where you feel somebody is judging you and you leave your ego at the door right imagine that you're still there you're still present but you leave your ego at the door because your ego is actually the part that's reacting to all of these other people's opinions of you for me personally based on my experience right my own life as well as all the people that I've worked with so far it comes down to one thing it comes down to isolating the origins of this memory this reactive reactive memory that you have right figuring out and remembering exactly that this memory was created in 1910 1920 19 long ago right not today not yesterday but long ago and once you realize when this memory was created you build and you reconstruct the picture to see under which circumstances this was created then once you've got that you can look at that memory and when it was formed objectively then you can detach and you can go okay this memory was created 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago you know when I was 10 or 11 this was created but now I'm an adult I'm in my 30s 40s or 50s so the question becomes why do I still react the same as what I reacted back then once you realize that there's such a big gap between when it was created and you ask yourself the question why am I still reacting like this that's when the real clarity with regards to this dynamic starts to develop and starts to unfold and you start to be able to say but okay I understand now you know that I have actually been putting wood in the fire rather than taking wood out so now when you're in your family situation rather than continuing to react towards how you think they're triggering you you can stand back and you can say but oh my god like the way I would have reacted was because I've been reacting like this since I was 14 15 16 and now you can stand back and you can observe it which means once you're able to observe it you can change it totally I hope that this gives you an outside perspective of this particular dynamic especially within family and close relationships siblings partners work colleagues 
This always, always sticks its head out. If this is an issue that you actually are stuck with, please reach out to me. Let's have a chat. If you have figured out another way of dealing with this and you would like to share that, because everybody that watches this is going to pick up something from this, leave a comment. Let's start the discussion. I hope this helps. Take care.